This is the Microsoft Surface Go 2. It's one of those detachable devices that Microsoft released a few years ago. It's also an incredibly frustrating device to use if you want to dish Windows and use it with Ubuntu or some other Linux distro. Frustrating because it is weirdly difficult to get the Surface Go 2 to boot into a non-Windows bootable USB drive. So basically any kind of Linux distro installation USB drive. And technically, yes, according to Microsoft, you should be able to force the Surface Go 2 to boot into a bootable USB drive by either pressing the power button and the volume button down at the boot screen, or by setting up the BIOS to default to booting into a bootable USB drive. Unfortunately, these methods only work to boot Windows-related bootable media and not Linux distro installation USB drives. Fortunately, there are workarounds to this. Frustrating and probably should be unnecessary workarounds, but workarounds nonetheless. I'm Joe from Tailings Tech, and today I want to go over four different ways in which you can get your Surface Go 2 to boot into a Linux distro's installation USB drive. This is technically a follow-up to an older video that I've done talking about how you can install Ubuntu onto the Surface Go 2. And like with that previous video, I will be using a USB-C to USB-A adapter to connect the USB drives to the Surface Go 2. Before we get to the methods themselves, I do want to quickly go over how I have the BIOS set up on my Surface Go 2 or how I had it set up prior to attempting any of the methods that I'm about to mention. On the Surface Go 2, you can get into the BIOS by holding down the power button and the volume up button at the same time. Once in the BIOS, I messed with the following settings. In the security section, I disabled secure boot. In the boot options section, I reordered the boot order to ensure that the USB storage was number one in the boot order. Method number one, Windows Advanced Start. This method is the one that I actually used in my how to install Ubuntu on a Surface Go 2 video. And it works for people who have Windows installed on the Surface Go 2 in some way, shape or form. If you don't have Windows installed on the Surface Go 2, this method is not applicable to you. I will be using Windows 10 in the demonstration, but the steps should be similar for those using Windows 11. Step one, start with the device powered off. Step two, plug in the Linux distro installation USB drive. Step three, turn on the device. Step four, after having gone through the boot screen and logged into the device, open up the Windows settings. Step five, type advanced start in the search bar and select change advanced startup options that comes up. Doing so should lead to a screen that looks like this. Step six, select restart now. This should lead to a blue screen that looks a bit like this. Step seven, select use a device, which should lead to a screen that looks like this. Step eight, on the screen, look for an option called Limpus Lite. Limpus Lite refers to the bootable Linux distro installation drive. Click on Limpus Lite and the Surface Go 2 will proceed to boot into said Linux distro installation drive. Like I mentioned in my other video, you might need to go through these steps a few times to be successful. Whenever I personally tried this method, I ended up redoing it a few times just to get the Olympus Lite option to show up in the blue screen. I don't know why, but half the time it just wouldn't show up, so I had to keep trying with the steps until it would show up, which I don't really know what's going on there. Method number two, mashing the escape key. For this method, you need to have the Surface Go keyboard accessory. So if you don't have that, then this method is not for you. Also, this method doesn't work when booting into Windows, so you have to be booting into some kind of Linux distro for it to have a chance of working. Step one, start with the device powered off. Step two, plug in the Linux distro installation USB drive. Step three, turn on the device. Step four, mash that escape key. If it works, you should be able to boot into that USB drive, and if it doesn't, it will just boot normally into whatever Linux installation you already have on the device itself. This method is a bit hit or miss. Um, I have found it to work for certain Linux distros, but not for others. What I do know is when I was using Debian 11, this method actually always worked in forcing the device to boot into a Linux distro installation USB drive. Method number three. I don't know how to pronounce that, so I'm just gonna go with EFI Boot Manager. This is the method that I actually recommend using if you already have Ubuntu or some other Linux distro installed on your Surface Go 2. Step one, start with the device powered off. Step two, plug in the Linux distro installation USB drive. Step three, turn on the device. Step four, once booted and logged in, open up the terminal. Step five, enter the command sudo efi boot mgr dash b. This will show the available boot entries and the boot order. Each boot entry is identified with a boot number. Look through the list and identify the boot entry labeled Limpus Lite. 
Limpus Lite refers to the Linux distro installation USB drive. Find the boot number next to Limpus Lite. In my case, and probably your case too, the boot number for the Limpus Lite boot entry is boot 0000. Step 6. Enter the command sudo efi boot mgr n 0000. This essentially sets things up so the next time you boot the device, the device will boot into the Linux distro installation USB drive. Step 7. Enter the command reboot to reboot the device. Assuming that things have gone down as planned, the Surface Go 2 will boot into the Linux distro installation USB drive. Unlike with the escape key method, you don't need the Surface Go keyboard accessory for this. Also, this method has, in my experience, worked with every Linux distro that I've ever tried on the Surface Go 2. So I definitely recommend this method if you already have some kind of Linux distro installed on your Surface Go 2. Method number four, brute force. This is the method of last resort. If you've tried all the other methods and it's not working for some other re some reason, or you've just made a complete mess of your Ubuntu setup or some Linux distro setup that you have going on and you don't have Windows installed on the device anymore, then this might be your only way out. So it's the method of last resort. Also, warning, this method does involve wiping the internal storage on your Surface Go 2. I repeat, this method does involve wiping the data that is on your device. Do not come crying to me after having tried it. Oh, my files are gone. Yeah, that's this is this is part of the process here. So, you know, you've been warned. Also, for this method, you're going to need not only your Linux distro installation USB drive, but you are you are also going to need a Windows 10 media installation USB drive, and they need to be two separate USB drives. And with that, let's go through the process. Step one, make sure to start with the device powered off. Step two, plug in a Windows 10 installation USB drive. Step three, power on the device. Assuming you have the BIOS set up in the manner that I mentioned earlier in the video, the device should automatically boot into the Windows 10 installation USB drive. Step four, upon booting into the Windows 10 installation USB drive, you'll reach the screen. Press next here. Then press install now. Then on this screen, click I accept the terms and press next. At this screen, click on custom install Windows only advanced and you'll get to a screen that looks like this. Depending on whether you have Windows or a Linux distro or something else installed on the device, you should get a list that lists out two to four partitions on the drive, perhaps more depending on what your setup looks like. At this step, go ahead and delete each partition until the only entry on the list is drive zero unallocated space. To put it simply, this essentially deletes whatever bootable thing you have on the device. At this point, hit the X in the upper right corner of the screen. Doing so will lead to a notification that says, are you sure you want to quit? Click yes here, and you'll be taken to the screen that appeared when you first booted into the Windows 10 installation USB drive. Now click on the button, repair your computer. This can be found in the lower left corner of the screen. Doing so will lead to a blue screen that looks like this. Hit the turn off your PC here. Once done, go ahead and unplug the Windows 10 installation USB drive from the device. Step five. Turn on the Surface Go 2 to confirm that there is nothing bootable on the device. If things have gone as planned, you should get the message of no bootable device. Once the message has been confirmed, go ahead and power off the Surface Go 2. Step six, plug in the Ubuntu or whatever Linux installation USB drive you have, then power on the device again. Assuming things have gone as planned, as the device boots up, it should automatically boot into the Linux distro installation USB drive. I'm not entirely sure why this particular method works. It's something that I stumbled across completely by accident, but it is something that makes sense when you consider three observations that I have made about the Surface Go 2. Observation number one, if you have USB storage set to boot first in the BIOS, the Surface Go 2 will always boot into a Windows related bootable USB drive, and it will always happily do so from the boot screen. It doesn't matter if you have Windows or Ubuntu or some other Linux distro installed on your device, like none of that matters if you have a Windows bootable USB drive plugged into your device and if the BIOS is set up in the manner that I just mentioned, it will always boot into it. Observation number two. The Surface Go 2's default action at the boot screen seems to be to ignore whatever non-Windows bootable USB drive you have plugged into it and it will always boot into whatever is already installed onto the device itself. Like with my previous observation, 
It doesn't matter if you have Windows installed on the device or Ubuntu or some other Linux distro, like none of that seems to matter. It doesn't matter if your BIOS has been set to prioritize booting into your USB storage over booting into your internal device. The default behavior here is it's always going to ignore whatever Linux distro installation USB drive you plug into it and always go head first into booting into whatever is installed on the device. Observation number three, if there is nothing bootable on the Surface Go 2, meaning that you've wiped out the internal storage and there's nothing remotely bootable there anymore. In that instance, the Surface Go 2 will happily boot into any kind of bootable USB drive, including Linux distro installation USB drives from the boot screen. So what the brute force method essentially does is it takes these three observations and puts them into practice essentially. We start with the Windows 10 installation USB drive because the Surface Go 2 will always happily boot into the Windows 10 installation USB drive from the boot screen. Then we use the tools found within the Windows 10 installation USB drive to essentially wipe the internal storage of the Surface Go 2, or at least wipe the device to a degree where there is nothing bootable there anymore. I know that wipe technically has certain connotations, so I'm using that term loosely here. Then we take the Windows 10 installation USB drive out and confirm that there is nothing bootable on the device anymore. And since we know that Surface Go 2 in this state will boot into a non-Windows bootable USB drive from the boot screen, we plug in the Ubuntu or some other Linux distro's installation USB drive to boot into it. I don't actually know why the Surface Go 2 in this particular state is more willing to cooperate into booting into the Linux distro's installation USB drive from the boot screen. I don't, I don't know what the exact difference here is, but there does seem to be a difference all of which is a messy process and one that I definitely do not recommend. Like this one is not easy at all. There is no elegance to it. It's pretty complicated. You need like two different USB drives. It's not really the safest way of going about it in my opinion. Like there's a reason why I refer to this one as the brute force method. And those are the four ways in which you can get the Surface Go 2 to boot into a Linux distro installation USB drive. A lot of these methods require more effort than should be required in my opinion, but I can confirm that they more or less work on the Surface Go 2. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. If you found this video helpful or informative in any way, shape, or form, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a like. Thanks for watching.